night, a source is shedding new light on what happened at a Chula Vista intersection the day a mother of five was killed by a Border Patrol agent. The Border Patrol said the woman ran down the agent with her car. The full medical examiner's report has not been released, but a source familiar with it shared some of the report with Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker. Border Patrol agent Justin Tackett is seen here standing next to Monique Tachakin's car moments after she was shot nine times. Team 10's anonymous source has access to the medical examiner's investigation. The autopsy report shows eight bullets entered Tachakin's body at a 30 degree angle moving from right to left. One bullet entered at a 90 degree angle, almost vertical. Some witnesses on September 28th, the day of the shooting, said that Tackett fired his gun from the street. The border Patrol gave this statement. The agent actually was impacted, was hit by the vehicle, and carried several hundred yards on the hood uh, before fearing for his life, uh, did discharge his weapon uh, to get the vehicle to stop. The autopsy investigation also found Tachikin had trace amounts, one tenth of one milligram of methamphetamine in her system when she died. At the time, she was on probation for a drug conviction. World renowned forensic pathologist Dr. Cyril Wecht talked with Team 10 from his home in Pittsburgh. My own opinion is that it's an insignificant level in terms of any substantial change in her personality. That can always create suspicion in the mind of a jury. Former San Diego District Attorney Paul Finkst said this information could hurt Tatcha Keen's family's civil case against the Border Patrol. Bullets going through the windshield to the driver support the officer's position. Recent Team 10 investigations have shown Tackett was nearly fired from his previous law enforcement job and got his job with the federal government after a family friend, a United States congressman, recommended him. With Team 10, I'm investigator Mitch Blocker. Tackett was in Chula Vista serving a search warrant the day of the shooting. Tachikin was not who he was looking for.